Welcome to Logical Troubleshooting of Automotive Electronics. I'm Bill Peake, speaking on behalf of myself and Doc Nall. We developed this program after years of working with technicians and trying to explain how to use this vast amount of information we have available to identify a specific problem. This is actually pretty difficult when you're trying to, to write down a procedure you use to diagnose vehicles. What we try to do here is document the techniques we use. We call them area test and pinpoint test, and we'll show you what we mean. But we're going to try to put everything back in light bulb technology and then talk about the system. What we're talking about when we say light bulb technology, Doc and I firmly believe that if you look at the most complicated systems on a vehicle, it must have a source of power and a source of ground that it must be capable of functioning. The area test concept is to verify that everything needed for a device to work, like power and ground, is valid. Then you pinpoint, if I've got a valid ground, I've got a valid power supply. Do I have the conditions necessary for this to make its readings? If not, I have a bad component. Let me say that again. Even if it's a complex thing like a computer, if it has proper power, proper ground, and has the conditions necessary for it to operate, and it doesn't operate correctly or logically, it's defective. We believe that it's really that simple. Let's talk about a few things you're going to hear. What you're going to hear here, because this is such a large subject, I am going to say frequently on behalf of Doc and myself more about this later because we're trying to open this window slowly and show you the whole picture, but we don't want to overwhelm you immediately. But let's talk about the layout of this class. What we're going to try to do is talk about a subject and then immediately show you an electrical system that utilizes that particular measurement or technique we just discussed. So it's going to be using real automotive diagrams. We're going to talk about interpreting these diagrams and defining how we do an area test. How do we look at a diagram? How do we look at operating conditions and decide what's normal and what's abnormal? Because if we can identify the abnormal before we pick up the meter, we already know what we're going to go test. We're not randomly testing, looking for something bad. We have already identified the area where we think the problem is located. That's the hard part, taking the time to do that, because you have to stop and study the diagram and have enough understanding of how the system operates to understand how you would test it. So once we go through all this circuit testing, we're then going to take the common components you work with every day, like fuel pumps, mass airflow sensors, throttle position sensors, and show you how to apply this technique to them because it's not as simple as it looks sometimes. Let's break the system down. We see four major areas on the automobile. Electrical generation to recharge the battery, which is our storing system. We must be able to charge the battery to be able to start the vehicle the next time. Once we have generation of electricity and we're recharging the battery, we're going to use the excess generated voltage to then power up the electrical systems, the lights, the computers, the fuel injection, the ignition. And we're going to be controlling it all. We're going to apply the same techniques for diagnosing all of these. First, identify the area we think has the problem and take the time to narrow the area down to a small area. Second, take pinpoint tests to find exactly what the cause of the malfunction is. We're going to be talking about and reviewing basic electrics and the atomic theory very, very briefly, just to remind you of those things and to remind you a few things about circuit functions as a review. Then immediately we're going to jump right into here's how circuits work, here's how we test them, here's volts, ohms, amps, frequency, and the other things we're going to be using. So let's get started and start talking about a brief review of electronics. And I promise you, it will be brief.